Zap Comics presents Top 10 Selling Books of the Week with Corey Brown. What's going on guys? Corey here at Zap Comics. I'm going to do a top 10. I'm not going to do one for the uh, top 10 selling books of the week yet because the week's not really full. DC spit some stuff out and Marvel's uh, doing every other week with new releases which is awesome because it eases us back into uh, normalcy and it keeps our bills low. And people who are starting to get back to work and stuff like that don't have these major, major uh, Wednesdays to buy a lot of books because, you know, money's tight right now and I get it. So I actually like that they're doing this. So um, for the next few weeks, I'm not sure if I'm going to do an actual top 10. So, But I do want to do the top 10 uh, most requested books um, recently, especially with hot books, wall books, cool covers, cameos. The market's on fire right now for back issues. And... Um, I want to tell you guys what people are looking for here. I'm sure you guys know most of these anyways because these are like the, the hottest books. So, uh, Number 10 is Marvel Spotlight. Number 5, of course, it's the first Ghost Rider. Awesome cover, beautiful black border. I love that era of Marvel. Um, beautiful cover. Uh, it's hard to get in nice shape because of the black cover. It shows a lot of the defects, spine ticks and whatnot. So if you, you get one of those, it is a, a hot book right now. Number 9 is X-Men number 4 which is the first appearance of Omega Red. Everybody thinks he's going to pop up in a movie or something. Uh, cool character, very 90s. Um, I love his design. He's always been neat. The action figures are awesome for him. So uh, this book's always been good. It's, it's pretty common, but it's getting hot. So a lot of people are looking for it, and the price is jumping a bit. It's not, you know, it's affordable. It's just uh, it's just going for more than it used to. But uh, it's a awesome. I remember buying it off the shelf when I was a kid, so it's really cool. Number eight is Fantastic Four. Number 48, of course, is the very first appearance of Galactus and Silver Surfer. Uh, one of the few books I held on to that I'll never sell personally. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And everybody wants it. They're waiting for a Surfer and or Galactus to pop up in the Marvel Universe. Because, um, you know, the MCU has not touched those characters yet. So when they do, this book is going to be major. Still affordable, but it is climbing very, very fast. I personally like 49 because of the cover. Uh, 48 is obviously their first appearance, so people are going after 48. Number 7 and 8, I mean, sorry, 7 and 6 are pretty much tied, which is Amazing Spider-Man number 300 and Amazing Spider-Man 361. Uh, you guys all know these. 300, of course, is a beautiful McFarlane cover. And then, obviously, it's the first full appearance of Venom, who is taking over the comic book world uh, recently. And 361 is the first full appearance of Carnage. Awesome Bagley cover, and, of course, Carnage is featured right on the cover. Um, three, 300 is uh, getting pricey, so a lot of people are shifting to 361 because it is more affordable, but that book is starting to climb really fast, especially high-grade copies, so um, be on the lookout for those because they are hot. Um, number five is Silver Surfer number one. Again, back to the MCU uh, statement I made earlier. Everybody's waiting for him to pop up. Awesome cover. You know, you can't go wrong with that, and it's the Surfer, uh, the best character ever, so... He's my personal favorite. Uh, number four is Spawn number one, specifically the new stand edition. If uh, you guys don't know, it's okay if you don't. It's a lot of times, what's the difference between new stand and direct? Back in the day, the direct market, which was stores like us, did not use barcodes or scanners. So the book on the front cover in the corner would just have a little box, either be blacked out or have a little image on it, uh, face of the character, whatnot. The newsstand versions, which you would find at supermarkets and everything else, and bookstores, would have a barcode on it where you would scan. So, um, in the 90s, more uh, comic book stores were ordering books than newsstands. And so, obviously, the direct market is more of them. So, the newsstand ones also would get dinged up because they were just thrown on racks and shelves and in piles. So, they weren't uh, taken care of as nicely and carefully as the direct market. So, people are starting to realize that. And the Spawn number one newsstand is, is kind of tough to find, especially in nice shape. So if you have a Spawn number one and it has a barcode on it, that's a good one. If it just has Spawn's face or whatever, that's just a standard one. Still cool, but it's not the same thing. Uh, number three is G.I. Joe number 21. This has always been known as a silent issue. There are no words in it. Um, it's also the very first appearance of Storm Shadow, and it has an awesome Snake Eyes cover. So this book has been gaining steam forever. When I was a kid, it was always a book that you wanted to get. There was too many printings of it. Getting the first print was a pain, and um, it's still the same way today, so... Okay, the top two books, they're pretty much neck and neck. Um, it's hard to put one on top of the other as far as which one is the uh, hottest one. So, number two is Star Wars Clone Wars, number one from 2008, the Dark Horse series. Of course, it is the very first appearance of Captain Rex, 
which everybody loves. But more importantly, it's the first appearance of Ahsoka Tano, which is she is probably the hottest character on the planet, aside from the next guy. Um, everybody wants her, and there's not much of it, of stuff with her in it. So that's another reason why it's so hot. She is taking the world, Star Wars world by storm. I gotta admit, I didn't see what the big deal was forever. I'm actually kind of cool watching the last episode of last season of Clone Wars, especially the final four episodes. She is literally in one of my favorite Star Wars characters ever. I love her. I cannot wait to see more of her, and it's it's amazing. And uh, I actually feel guilty and stupid not getting on the train earlier. So I'm glad I'm on the train, and I'll never get off. So again, uh, Ahsoka Tano is red hot. The only person who might be a little bit hotter is Miles Morales. Of course, um, <clears throat> with everything going on with the movie. And he's popping up everywhere. Uh, awesome costume design. I love his costume. So Ultimate Fallout 4 is his very first appearance. So um, you can't go wrong with Miles. You know, the animated movie that came out. Uh, he, he, Amazing. Everybody loved him. I mean, he's been a great character anyways. So it just finally is getting in. The cover's cool. So Miles Morales, Spider-Man, is literally the hottest character anywhere right now. And I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. So if you look up Ultimate Fallout 4, especially high grade issues, they are breaking records every single day. I get so many, so many, so many requests for this book. It's ridiculous. And um, again, uh, rightfully so. The young crowd loves him. I love his costume. I love Peter Parker. I love his costume. But this costume, it's just, it's so, uh, it's just cool. So, uh, and I think people just realize that. And like I said, that animated movie was, was major. And uh, everybody loves him. And how could you not? So. Miles Morales uh, is on top of the world right now. So that was uh, that's it. So I hope you guys are good. We're open now. Of course, you're going to be wearing masks. We're going to limit customers coming in. We've had no problems at all. Everything's been smooth. Uh, everybody's cool. Everybody's like so happy to be back in here. Everybody understands if they, you know, you got to do social distancing and whatnot. It really has never really been a line at the door. So everybody's been coming in and they're just happy to be back in the store. And we're very happy to have you. So we appreciate that and be safe out there. And uh, hopefully soon I can start doing the regular top 10s. But until then, I'll do a lot of fun videos like this. If you need anything, just let me know. And I will see you guys at the shop. Be good, everybody.